we studied the chapter one uh, plumbing connection for the split solar water heater now we studied chapter two the electric uh, connections uh, in this chapter we will study the electric connection uh, like for the electric uh, backup and uh, the uh, solar power station and also the sensor cables uh, the first we will study the the electric backup, the electric connections. Uh, this is a storage tank. And in the middle, uh, this is the electric backup cover. So first, uh, we, we remove the electric system cover uh, the, the, from here. And then we can see the thermostat. Uh, this is the thermostat cover, plastic cover. And uh, uh, this is the earth terminal. Uh, step two, remove the thermostat from its spot by hand. Uh, because the cover is uh, connected with the thermostat perfectly. So we have to uh, remove the thermostat from the support. And then we can use a screwdriver to uh, pre up the thermostat cover from the top here. And the cover can be easily removed. Uh, then we uh, clamp the thermostat to its support. Uh, and uh, ensure the thermostat the back tightly stick against the cylinder wall. Uh, then the thermostat can quickly detect the water temperature in the hot water tank. Uh, because uh, this thermostat is uh, touch, touch the cylinder, then it can detect the temperature. So that's why uh, we, sh we, we have to guarantee uh, the thermostat tightly stick against the cylinders work. So you can see uh, this is thermostat and this is the uh, bracket and this is the heating element. This is the backup. Uh, the thermostat, uh, the bottom, the part here, this is a thermostat. The default temperature is uh, like uh, 70 and we can adjust to 60. And above is the, uh, the uh, high temperature cutoff. So if the thermostat uh, uh, here, all the controller have problems and uh, the heating element always heating, then when it reach high temperature, it will cut off the electricity for safety. And then now we... Uh, study how to connect the terminal to uh, between the thermostat and the controller. Uh, for the thermostat, we just use terminal 1, terminal 2, and terminal 3. Please don't use other terminals. Uh, if you use other terminals, it will bring problems. Uh, for this thermostat, the left one, the top left one terminal always connect to the to air and the second terminal to number two terminal always connect to A uh, and uh, the the third terminal is connect to the earth terminal and uh, it is connected to the H1 1500 watt the terminal here and also the earth terminal uh, so first uh, we ha also have to uh, detect which terminal is the air is which one is in so after you detect uh, which one is air and in then you connect the air to the number one connection and the in to the number two and the the left uh, the earth terminal connect to the three terminal number three terminal here so i say again uh don't connect the uh, cable to other terminal of the thermostat or here here uh, you only can connect it to number one, number two, and number three. Uh, air for number one, in for number two, and the earth connection for number three. And here is air in is for the power, the controller's power input. So the power input from here and the give power, give the power from HR terminal to the electric backup. So this is the uh, 
uh, how to connect the uh, electric backup to the solar controller. Solar controller. And uh, after you finish it, then you clamp the thermostat cover to the thermostat, install the solar solar water, water tank's electric cover. So this is how to uh, connect the uh, storage tank, the electric backup to the uh, solar controller. And then we study the pump station uh, wiring diagram. So this is a uh, pump station. The first step is we remove the uh, insulation cover of the thermostat, and then we can see <coughs> there is a plastic cover. There is a bolt here. We remove the screw from here and remove the black cover. We can see the terminal inside. Uh, we connect the uh, the terminal air in uh, to the R1. Uh, so we can see the pump station, there is an air and a an terminal. So we also have to detect uh, which one is air and which one is in. And we uh, connect the air uh, cable to the air terminal and in cable to the in terminal. Uh, actually, if we audit, no influence uh, to the pump station. So actually, the birth is okay, but uh, uh, if you can detect uh, the air and a terminal, and then you also you also can uh, connect it air to the air and a to the a terminal. So this is how to connect the uh, the cable between the power station and the controllers. We use the R1 uh, terminal and uh, uh, output the power from R1 to the power station. Uh, to 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 the uh, air and a. So this is how to connect the power station to the uh, solar controllers. And then we study the sensor wear sensor wear how to connect the, the sensor wear to the storage tank to the solar collector and also to the uh, the the, the uh, solar controllers. Uh, generally, it will have a. Uh, uh, three pieces uh, sensor cable. Uh, the first one is the black one. Uh, the model is PT1000. Uh, the quantity is one piece, uh, black color. This is used to detect the solar collector's hot water outlet temperature. So, and the sensor wire is connected to the T1, T1 terminal here, T1 terminal. And uh, two pieces NTC 10K sensor wire. The color is a little gray. It is used to detect the hot water tank's temperature, the bottom temperature, and uh, the upper uh, temperature. So for the collectors, we have to use the, the black color PT1000 sensor wire for the solar collector, and use the gray color for the storage tank, the bottom temperature, and the upper temperature. Use the NTC 10K sensor wire. Please don't uh, uh, mix uh, mix it uh, because the uh, the accuracy for the sensor is different. So black one for the collector, and the two pieces uh, the the gray one for the storage tank. So here is the uh, the terminal of the controllers. Uh, we can see this the for this is the probe. The probe of the sensor wire probe. So we insert the probe of the NTC 10K sensor wire into the deepest, deepest position of the uh, upper sensor wire and uh, connect to P3 terminal of the controller. And uh, we insert the probe of the NTC 10K sensor wire into the deepest position of the bottom sensor wire and uh, connect to the T2, T2 terminal here. So T2 is for the bottom temperature, and T3 is for the upper uh, water tank temperature. We just insert the sensor cable probe into the deepest. There is a, there is a sensor wear inside, so we just insert the, the probe into the deepest position of the sensor wear. 
and uh, connected to the T2 for the bottom temperature and the T2 for the T3 for the upper uh, sensor, uh, upper temperature. Uh, then is the solar collector's temperature, T1. Uh, we can provide the uh, a, a T brass T connections. Uh, there is a sensor wear inside to detect uh, the uh, solar uh, hot outlet temperature. And this is the T1. This is the uh, PT1000. PT1000 uh, sensor wire is black color, color. It's used to, to detect the, the hot outlet of the collectors. So uh, here is a sensor where the sensor, sensor cable lock. So inside is a sensor where to detect the water here near the nearest position of the solar collector, the, the, the temperature. And you just insert the, the probe of the PT1000 sensor wear into the deepest position of the sensor wear of the brass T and then connect it to the T1 connection, T1 connection. Uh, we can provide this kind of uh, brass T with uh, the sensor, uh, sensor wear inside. And uh, you also can use the uh, flexible the steer to fix uh, fix the uh, the probe the probe uh, to the uh, solar collectors. This is also okay. Fix the uh, the sensor probe to the outlet of the solar collectors to detect the the, the temperature and connect the PT one thousand sensor wire to the T one to detect the solar collector hot outlet temperature. So the collector temperature sensor wire uh, connect to T1. Uh, T2 and T3, you can see page one, this is for the uh, hot water temperature, bottom and uh, the T2 for bottom and T3 for uh, upper hot water. So this is the sensor probe, you just insert into the deepest position, insert into it. So this is the uh, uh, electric connection for the sensor wear. 